Hey YouTube, it's your girl P and I'm back at y'all with another video. This video is going to be about my review on the Wet n Wild Photos Focus Foundation. Now, I'm going to just be straightforward and honest and say I do not like it. I do not like this foundation. Um, I have dry skin, so this is more of like a... Um, they say it's more of a matte finish, and um, it's not going to work for me. Um, because if it's a matte finish and I have dry skin, um, so I don't like it. Okay, so reason number one is when I put it on, it was an orangey color, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so orange. It does not work. It was, it blended out well. And everything like that after I blended it and added some more makeup I added my concealer it didn't look right with my concealer I had took some pictures with some flash on oh my god I'm gonna insert I don't even think I even have the picture anymore but if I had the picture I would probably I would have inserted that picture um, to let you guys see, I erased all those pictures, so I don't even have the picture of it, how it looked when I had took a picture of it with flash on. It looked horrible. Like, I was like a, a orange Oompa Loompa. Like a orange Oompa Loompa. You know, from the Charlie Chocolate Factory, those orange Oompa Loompas? Oh my God, that's what I look like. A orange Oompa disco glittering ball because i had my eyeshadow it was glittery and everything so i look like a freaking orange oompa loompa disco ball and it was horrible like horrible so i took it off for some reason i was getting i don't know if i already had these little dots these little pimples right here or whatever but I thought I was breaking out from it I had a little on little red orange spots on my face I heard up and took it off so I was like no that's not working for me I don't like it at all this is the darkest shade they had this is mahogany I was gonna go back and get either um, mocha or espresso but now I'm like I'm not going back to get none of those um this was the one I was using. It's called Soraka um, by Eva Mendez. Um, so she has a tons of products out. And uh, I've been using this for a while and I really do like it. I did actually put this in the Wet n Wild together. I blended it and it looked okay. Um, I didn't put no concealer on for some reason when I put concealer on over my foundation to make it lighter in these areas it looks ashy I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know if it's the right concealer I'm using I don't know if my concealer is dried out I don't know but I look ashy so as for right now I'm only going to use my concealer to highlight my eyebrows and that's it I'm not going to put it right here to highlight nothing i'm just gonna leave my face foundation and just do my eyebrows for the concealer um i also had went back yesterday and i picked up the covergirl queen's collection um foundation by um of course queen latifah she makes all her products for dark skinned females um so i picked this up now if you can see this um I do like this though. It is, um, it is not. No, I actually, I think I blended this with the Wet and Wild foundation. That's what I think I did. Or did I do it with this one? No, I think I blended it. I don't remember, but I blended it with one of those, and it looked good with just that on. But I did also try this. Um, I put this over my face and I did like how it blended and it looked nice on my face. Again, like I said, I'm not going to use no concealer or nothing like that. Um, this is called Warm Caramel. So I really thought that this really blended well with my skin um, complexion. Um, what I need to do 
is when I order my stuff from Miss A, Shop Miss A, I'm going to add in the orange corrector because as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I have like dark spots, little pimples here and there. Uh, well, not pimples, but little blemishes and everything here and there. So I'm going to order that and see how that works um, to correct those areas. And then I'm going to put this over my skin, the um, Queen Co the um, the CoverGirl foundation. I'm going to put that over my skin. And I'm not going to use no foundation. Like I said, I'm just going to use it for my um, eyebrows and everything. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to, guys, give you a review on the Wet and Wild. I know some people might like it. And there's others who don't like it. I seen um, a YouTuber who put it on and it was orangey just like mine when I put it on. Orange as I don't know what. It was like horrible. I don't know if it's the orange undertone or what is going on. But this is the deep dark mahogany. The deepest color, the darkest color that they have. And it was orange. Completely orange. And it was just horrible. It did not look right. At first, when I put it on, I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. I love it. Um, it blends well. After, you know, after I put my concealer on, I was like, oh, my gosh, it looked like a freaking ghost. You know, right in these areas, I looked white and ashy. So I was like, let me take some pictures with some flash. Um, no light, just flash. Oh my gosh, like I said, I look like an orange Oopa Loopa disco ball. It was horrible. So I was like, I'm not, I, I can't do that foundation. And they say it's like a matte finish. So if you have dry skin, I have a combination, I feel like, of oily and dry skin because I use that um, trick where you don't put nothing on your face and you wake up in the morning and you fail to see if you have oily or dry skin i feel like i have a combination of dry and oily skin um but still it just did not look right on my skin it was horrible it was ugly i do not like that foundation i will not go back and purchase the mocha or the espresso because both of those are really light i feel um this is like, this will be the espresso, but for some reason, this fits my skin well, and it's really, I like it, I do. And I also like my Soraka foundation. Um, I have been using this for a while, so I do like this. Um, I do like these two foundations, my Soraka and my CoverGirl, my CoverGirl um, foundation. I do like that, but I do want to try a concealer, maybe a little darker than my, um, skin complexion i do have a concealer that's a little light but i do want to try one that's a little darker than my skin complexion maybe a shade or so darker um but the wet and wild foundation i probably won't be using that i don't know if i'm going to keep blending it with these foundations i'm not sure um so yeah that is just my review for the wet and wild photo focus foundation i personally do not like it i hate it it's orangey. Nobody is an orange color. Either you're fair, medium, dark, deep dark, medium dark, whatever. But no one is an orange color. You can't go looking for, oh, this is going to be good because I'm orange. No. So that's just my honest opinion, my honest review for that foundation. I don't like it. It sucks. So yeah, um, for me anyways, for someone else, I don't know. But for me, I don't like it. Um, so, yeah, that's just my review on that foundation. Um, I do um, have some other videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, make sure to follow all my media so social medias in the link in the description box below. If you have a question or a comment about any of these foundations or whatever, just leave them in the comments box below. Again, like, subscribe. Um, so yeah, that was that. So you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. I'm about to get ready and go to work. That's why I have this bun and this cute little brown um, band on my head. I tried to get my bun to go up here, but I guess I made it too low a little bit. It's in the middle. But next time I'm going to put it up here because that's where I want my bun to be. I want a high, messy bun, not in the middle messy bun so yeah um 
so that is just that so i guess i'll see you guys in another video you guys have a wonderful and blessed day bye